Good morning everyone, welcome to day six of the Venocia Belly Fat Reduction uh, Challenge. So I am starting my day out with dessert, cause I can, so I'm going to. Um, so I wanted to make a, I looked up all sorts of recipes again yesterday and found some cool things to do with some avocados and I decided I wanted to make something that was more dessert-y. But then I came across a smoothie that I decided, yep, that's what I'm going to make. Um, I don't think it's going to make very much volume wise and I'm actually making half of the recipe because the whole recipe says it has like 600 and something calories in it, which is insane. And I don't need a whole avocado. I'm only using half of an avocado. So anyways, um, so this is called creamy orange avocado smoothie and it is from thehonorsystem.com and I will link that in the description box below for you guys to try it. Um, but anyways, it only has three ingredients. It's not very complex, but I am super excited about this. I think it's gonna, one of my absolute favorite flavors is like an orange dreamsicle. Um, I just love orange and vanilla flavor together. That just sounds wonderful to me. And this actually, I guess it's not really gonna have the vanilla part of it, but anyways, this will be fine. This is gonna be wonderful, I'm pretty sure. So for one whole recipe, if you're making two servings, it has two frozen bananas, three quarters cup of fresh orange juice, and one avocado. And then it says orange zest if you feel fancy. Her picture is very pretty. I guarantee you mine will be not that pretty. <laughs> so anyways, uh, my bananas are not frozen. However, my avocado is. So at Costco, I found, before I started this challenge, I found avocado chunks frozen. I was super excited by that. So I actually ended up getting two bags of this on the off chance that at some point in time, I need avocados or Okay, so I need avocados and the ones on my counter aren't ripe yet, so I can't use them. Or I'm going to be blending them anyway, so if you're going to blend them anyway, and it's going to be in like a drink or a smoothie or something like that, you might as well have them already frozen because that makes it more creamy and all that good stuff. So anyway, that's what I'm using this morning. So I took, this is kind of a good size avocado, um, but I took an avocado and I weighed it. And this is eight ounces. Uh, just over eight ounces. So I figure, okay, so if this thing is eight ounces, the pit in the middle is probably about two, which makes it maybe, maybe about six ounces. So half of that would be three ounces. So I went ahead and put my little plastic container on my weight, my scale, and zeroed it out, and then weighed out exactly three ounces. So that's exactly half of an avocado-ish. Exactly-ish, there you go, that's how that works. So there's my half of an avocado. I'm going to peel my banana and put it in there, um, not frozen. I really don't ever take the time to freeze bananas. I probably should because they are really, really nice and creamy when they're frozen, but um, we go through bananas so fast in this house, it's not even funny. Like, oh my gosh, it's not even funny. It's crazy how fast we go through bananas. Hang on a second. Get my towel. It's amazing that I bleach, I do, Every two weeks I do a load of laundry that's a all that's white, that's like bleach laundry. And I'm always so impressed that I make such a mess on these towels and yet they always come back out white. We get these at Costco too. Everything comes from Costco in life, pretty much. Okay, so I've got my avocado, I've got my banana, and then it says three quarters cup frozen orange juice. And then when it says to place all the ingredients in your blender, blend until smooth, adding water if needed. So three quarters of a cup, would be approximately, what, 180 mils? So half of that is 90 mils. I'm actually gonna go ahead and do 120 mls um, because I don't, I, I don't really wanna add water to it. I think it's gonna be just fine. And I definitely want that to be um, able to blend in my little blender. So we're gonna measure that out. There's 120 mls. There we go. So I'm gonna go blend that, um, however, before I do that, um, I definitely think that a shot of apple cider vinegar is in my Im imminent future because I don't think that after I have the smoothie that I'm gonna be able to tolerate the vinegar. Cause uh, yeah, no, I don't think that's going to work out very well. So here we go. It hasn't gotten any better yet. I'm waiting, I'm waiting. One of these days it's gonna be like, Doop, it's gone. I could feel the burn in the back of my throat and I could feel it in my stomach, <laughs> like. Anyways, um, so other than this, so I'm having my smoothie this morning. Um, I'm going to take my peanut butter chia seed pudding. <coughs> I've already packed up some oatmeal to go. This is actually going to be um, 
So I'm going to eat the chia seed pudding when I get to work. This is going to be my next meal, regardless of the fact that I would like to separate out the chia seeds as much as possible. Um, I am going to do this next because um, I'm going to take some leftover spaghetti with me and I want to make sure that the oatmeal gets eaten. Seeing as I did not eat oatmeal yesterday, I want to make sure that it gets eaten um, today. So that's what I'm taking with me for food. And if it's a hungry day and I'm hungry when I get home, I'll just find something to eat that's not an issue at all. It's totally fine. So let's go blend this up and uh, I will be back with you guys in just a second to tell you if this is like the awesomest thing ever or yeah, it's okay. One or the other. I'll be right back. Hey guys so this is very pretty <clears throat> it was much 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 I mean it's still really really thick it was way 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 too thick so I put another 30 ml of um, orange juice in it and then blend it again and this is better so hmm it tastes predominantly like a banana <laughs> um, it's good uh, it's very, very, very creamy, which is nice. It's really, really thick still. You could probably um, cut the recipe in half, but still use three quarters of a cup of orange juice, no problem. Um, anyway, it's very good. It's very tasty. But it tastes like a banana. With a little bit of orange juice. That's what I'm getting out of this. Not quite as exciting as I would, uh, would have from memory of what an orange dreamsicle tastes like. But but it's not called a dream sickle either. It's called a creamy orange avocado smoothie. So based on the title, this is exactly what it tastes like, except they should have stuck banana in there somewhere because it definitely tastes like a banana. Anyways, so I am actually going to go and finish getting ready for work and I will talk to you guys on my drive home or after I get home from work tonight, one or the other. And I hope you have a great day. So I'll talk to you later. Well, hello everyone. So my day of work is over and I am headed home. Um, so, the avocado smoothie this morning really wasn't much of a smoothie. It was really pudding. Like, it was seriously thick, seriously thick. Um, flavor-wise, it was really good. I left some of it for my husband, and he said that he really liked it. Like, he really enjoyed the flavor of it. But he, he is very sensitive to orange juice and or the orange juice flavor and stuff. Not that he doesn't like it. It's just, it's a very strong flavor for him for some reason, which is really weird to me. But anyways... Um, so when I drank it, I get, or used a spoon really, <laughs> um, I got banana, like holy banana flavor, which I don't actually care for bananas all that much, so maybe that's why, I don't know. Um, and just a tiny, tiny little bit of orange, and when he tried it, he said it was like super powerful in the orange juice flavor, and yeah, he could tell there was banana in it, but it wasn't strong or anything, so I don't know. I'm not sure. But he really, really liked it too. He thought that was a really good, he said that would be like an excellent treat. Like just even like a third of that after supper or something like that. So that was interesting. And then um, I took my peanut butter chia seed pudding with me and that was actually delicious. Um, I am going to go ahead and remake puddings. Um, probably in the next day or so I'll just do like the fruit, um, the pears and the peaches again. But I do want to remake um, those recipes, but without blending up the um, chia seeds into teeny tiny, itty bitty, teeny tiny little pieces. I think that that will work out much better. So I'm going to try that. Um, I'm waiting for, I think tomorrow, I should be getting from Amazon. I ordered some um, vanilla powder, like natural, 100% organic, holy cow expensive, oh my gosh, uh, just plain vanilla powder. So you have to be really careful when you buy that stuff because there's all sorts out there that say that that's 100% natural, blah, 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 but it's like just junk. Like there's just a bunch of stuff added into it. But anyways, um, I think I got what looked to be a good quality product that was non-GMO and vegan and kosher and like everything you could possibly want on to say on the packaging. <laughs> so anyways, um, when it comes, I'll show it to you guys. But I wanted to remake the uh, chia seed pudding that was the vanilla with the powder instead and see how that turns out. And I actually think doing one that's orange juice with banana and vanilla would be like fabulous. So I'm gonna try that too. But that's just my own preferences for what I like. So when I get home, um, I am going to probably not eat because I had my oatmeal and I had um, the spaghetti that I took with me and I'm just really not, I'm not hungry. So I'm probably not going to eat again. But I do want to work out on the treadmill and jog a little bit. I don't, I don't seem to be 
getting very far past where I'm at. Um, I was thinking about maybe seeing if the doctor wanted to prescribe um, like a uh, albuterol inhaler for me to see if that would help open the air, open up my lungs a little bit so that I could breathe a little bit easier. Maybe that might be something that um, would help, but I don't, I don't know. I don't know if I really care enough to do that, so we'll see. But for now, I'm getting good exercise. That's all that matters. And yeah, that's it. That's it for me for today, guys. So I will see you again tomorrow, and I hope you had a great day.